Hi everybody, it's getting a bit chilly here in New Zealand at this time of year and we're heading from autumn through to winter so we're right at the end of autumn. A lot of the leaves have gone off the tree and the leaves that are left are going from a green colour to an orangey brown colour. So what we're going to be doing today in Art in a Bubble is we're going to be making our own autumn trees and we're going to be using our hands again as a guide as we did in a previous video. So join us today for Autumn Tree. start our art lesson today with a bit of, yes Stella we are with a bit of a walk around the garden and we're going to have a look at some of the leaves and trees that we've got um, here in New Zealand at the moment So I'm back inside where it's nice and warm and I've got my chicken and vegetable soup on the boil here which I'm going to have to warm me up. And we're going to get stuck into our painting today. What you'll need for art is some paper, a pencil, some paint brushes and some paint. I'm going to use acrylic paint, you can use whatever you've got at home. If you've watched previous videos you might remember how we did a goose made out of the print of our arm and our hand. It fitted in just like that and we traced around it and then we took it away and then we filled in the detail. Today we're going to use our arm and hand again but this time we're going to have our fingers spread out. Her arm's going to be the trunk of the tree and our fingers are going to be the branches for our autumn tree. Start by drawing around the outside of your arm and hand with a pencil. line around halfway up your arm. This is going to be where the grass and the sky meet. Using watercolour paint or a watered down acrylic paint, lightly paint behind your hand in a nice blue colour for the sky. Paint some grass a nice watercolour green. Add some background trees using watercolour. The trees don't need much detail, they're just giving an impression. 
so I've done my background and just watercolor type paint so that it's not very bright and now I'm going to contrast my tree using colors that are darker and bolder and to do this you could use an oil pastel or you could use something like acrylic paint that's not watered down maybe just a little bit of water on the brush but you want your tree to really pop out and be nice and bold in contrast to your background. Start with the outline in your darkest brown. Mix a slightly lighter shade of brown and fill in your hand and arm. Add another layer of even lighter brown. Add some tree knots, lighten up your brown again and keep layering. Finish with some small touches of black. We've finished our tree trunk and we've got the wood all textured or gnarly and knotted um, with our different layers of paint or different colours. And now comes the really fun part. This is when we get to use our unique fingerprints to create the leaves. Now do you remember what colour the leaves are when we looked around the garden? I remember seeing a yellowy tinge, a brown, some red and some that were still green. So we're going to mix up those colours and then we're going to have fun getting our fingers in and making the leaves that go on these branches. colors mixed and I've spread them out so that they're not in too much of a blob because now I'm going to use my fingerprints to make the leaves and I don't want too much paint on my hand. I use different fingers um, for different colors. You can also mix colors because if you remember our leaves they weren't all the same color. So I start by putting my finger in and creating a leaf shape. You can use the same finger for the same coloured leaf, which means that you don't have to wash them all the time. And it doesn't matter if they're odd shapes because that makes it a bit more interesting. What you can also do once you've got all your leaves down is you can actually mix the colours but you might have to wash your hands in between time because our leaves were lots of different colours, weren't they? They weren't all the one colour often. So have a go and have some fun. very dirty fingers but I kind of like sticking my fingers in paint it feels great and I'm really happy with my result I love my hand and fingerprint autumn tree 
every hand and finger bit print autumn tree of course is going to be different I'd love to see yours so you can um, take a photo of it and share it with me on art in a bubble nz at facebook or art in a bubble nz .gmail love to hear from you love to see what you're doing thanks guys see you next time have fun Bye.